Y'all gotta get better dance moves you too. You can't even fuck with me. You already took the L to me. Y'all gotta get better moves. Like that. I might just risk it. That's a better move. Big sticks, ready to rip shit. The rough side for nothing. That made the hit list. That made the glitz, glitz. Stop, dog. Come on. That's some spicy shit, man. We be gonna do that nut ass throw it in the air and bullshit. Same shit. Don't wanna call this bitch for one time then she brought it Act like I can't Gilly Rock I was sixty counting the bitch I just see him blue I for the baddest bitch they know that the nigga be having it So I be living extravagant Yeah Got used to stacking it Last year I was crashing up side Put a bin the fastest shit Six beams on my last stick new beam no I ain't passing it I got brand they brought me when I was she ain't know she's about to get it. Leave me out of it. <laughs> what you want, Lo? It's a nice little try. Said you would always have my back. I guess you lied to me. Said you would hold a nigga down, but I need honesty. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I don't want your apology. Big shit. Fill it on me. It's either all or nothing. I might just risk it. Hey. Hey. A little vibe. Yeah, that's the vibe right there. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to yeah, Eway yeah. Gallardo and Zavi. You know what I'm saying? That that was a hot joint right there. Y'all go check some vibe. youngins out. You're man. now tuned into me 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 King. Don't call me white girl. But she look like a white girl, so you can call a white girl when you see on the street. Don't call a moon and call her a white girl. Tony the Tackler, what up, y'all? You got Tony tackle. the Tackler over there, but let me say this, man. This is brought to you by Barstool Sports. I like to say powered by. Powered by Barstool like Sports. Sort of powered by Barstool. Our partners Stool. over there making it happen. Shout out to them. Uh, we're going to get into this first. Listen, this first one, one thing about this first sponsor, uh, uh, a lot of you guys are not going to have a real hard problem with this because it's something that you do most of the time, but this time, when you do it, you can save what you're doing. You dig what I'm saying? So tell them, tell them what's going on, Bill. Hey, listen, right? One in seven couples experience infertility, right? Men are responsible for half of all known infertility cases. One in ten men are infertile. Daddies is here to normalize the conversation around men reproductive health. We want to make the process of fertility testing and sperm banking as comfortable, convenient, and cost-effective as possible. No longer do you have to travel to a sperm bank to masturbate, sit in an uh, uncomfortable room and wait weeks to receive results. Daddy has developed a high-tech at-home sperm collection kit. Damn, they give you a whole kit. You get a so, kit. You just shake the dice, drop right, it off up right. in there. So you just tie, tie me back up you know and keep going. I mean, going. they give you a whole kit. Is you know, you open you it up. Yeah, you open it up. They give you think you open it up, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? You, you party in it. You have a party. You know what I mean? Then you lead a party. Man, you, 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 you shoot it all that shit the other way. Don't yeah. point that bitch over yeah, here. Yeah, hold on. Don't be spraying it on me, though. I'm just saying. Stop. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Then you, you know, you close it up, and uh, that you, you know, you. They give you a kit which allows you to test and store your sperm without leaving the comfort of your own home. So, you know, everybody squeeze off at the crib. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's better than that? Like, and you get the results within 24 hours of receiving your sample. These services through, sp through sperm banks usually cost thousands of dollars, but Daddy provides an at home collection kit. A lab tested fertility report, free overnight shipping, a free year of cryogenic sperm storage for $199. Hmm. With the option to store to store your sperm for $99 a year after the first free year. Hmm. No hidden costs, fees, just you know, you can unsubscribe at any time. So Daddy's is really the shit. And because Daddy is a huge fan of bar stool, any any Listener of a bar stool podcast, we providing you fifty dollars off your purchase. Go to Daddy Kit, D A D I K I T dot com, and insert your discount code Game Fifty Game Five O at checkout and order your kit today, man. So say you can save thousands of dollars just by fucking with Daddy. I will say something before we even get started. I want to say something. 
me and Gil, we gonna stand down. We admit. White girl was right with the whole Megan Thee Stallion situation. Wait, mm-hmm. wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep. What did you right. say? You was, you was right. fucking you was right. right. You was, you right. was right, right for one time in right. your fucking raggedy life. You was right. Our prayers are with you, Meg. We're really sorry that you had to go through So that. what you got to say? Hey, Tory Lane's a hoe, though. I'm just saying. We a hoe. I mean, I think, it's, I think it goes without saying, but I really want to highlight the fact that Black women are like not really held to a high standard. I think people should be more upset than they are at him. Like she got shot. Like so, so a nigga, so 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 so. My daughter messing with a rapper. Okay. And they have a dispute or argument, whatever. Who the fuck? What, what nigga is rapping now? I'm messing with. No, no, I ain't no, no, know no, nothing saying, about that. You know, I'm saying I'm hyper. Oh, I, I was ready to say, how the fuck? I don't know nothing about and that. And a nigga <laughs> pull a pistol out and shoot my daughter in her tootsies. And her money makers. War. And her Herschel Walkers. And her Emmett Smiths. <laughs> that don't make no fucking sense, dog. You said Herschel Walkers. Right. Because he ran, he was a running, right? He was a running back, right? And her hush puppies. <laughs> like. And her red bottoms. I don't know how. I, oh, man. He's shooting her puppies. I'm going to jail. I mean, it's just her like. Lisa Leslie's. Can we also highlight the fact Parkers. that she yeah. never told that it was him? She didn't no, she tell him it was told. him. She just told. She did. Talking? but Don't say out. she never told when she told. What, are you what I'm about? saying is when she, <laughs> when she <laughs> came <laughs> out with that story, the biggest part on that live, the biggest thing that stuck out to me is the fact that she never told those arrested, those like the, the officers that came to the scene, she never told. She telling now. Which is fine. I'm not but she still fine, was protecting him. I'm just saying, him. That's, just saying she That's telling. what a black woman is. So, we still so trying say, to protect y'all even after we shot in our money makers, the baby toe. He Harlem Knights, Meg. She's six foot, but she ain't deserve that shit. All right, now what? Now I just want to say this, right? No joke. Wrong. No joke on the side. What powered him? All right, everybody got to everybody get a chance right here to say what did she say to him in y'all mind that made him snap out? Come on, you first. She told a nigga to stand up, and he was already standing up. White <laughs> <laughs> girl, what did you, what did that you say? That was petty. Um, I think that he was high, and I think that she probably two pieced his motherfucking ass, and he got embarrassed. She says that she jumped out the car to like say "fuck it, I'm out of here," and he shot her out the back seat. He opened the door and shot her. This sound like some high shit. Like you tripping? I think they probably got mad. They was in an argument, and. You know, women can say some some devious shit Look sometimes. You little ass dick. You know? nah, I think she said, "Pussy, I seen. That's why I seen your fucking print, pussy, when we was at the swimming pool, and you're all <laughs> coconuts and no stem, buddy, with your little ass." Mm-mm-mm. You know, you tell it. You tell a nigga, y'all coconuts and no stem. Oh lord. That's that's. If somebody <laughs> said something like that to you, you would shoot her in her her little baby toes. No, but I'm just saying that's a hurtful joint. Like you tell like. It's only hurtful if your dick's little. No, like if you got a big dick, it's like, <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. Well, all right, what if you got a medium sized dick? You still he's speaking for the medium brothers. Gil, no, Gil no. is the union rep for the medium. Medium sized dick guys the, have a hard well, way to go. The medium men, he's the union rep for the medium men. I represent the medium men because we're medium. I'm asking you a question. Stop tapping me. What if you got medium? A, what if, what if you what if you got a medium size? See, he represent him. You? If you have a medium size and you know how to throw that thing, you wouldn't get that upset. No, if you have a medium I, size and you don't know how to fuck, you wouldn't get upset. First of all, we talk about Tory Lanez. We not talking about me. You're part of the medium, man. I fuck never thought we was talking about All right, I'm Gilly the Kid, He's king the of the medium, man. He's the one talking about how big the gang is, not me. I'm the medium. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why you say it's about my dick, bro? He's the one she talking about the gang, not me. Yo, you is sitting here talking about Oh, you represent, no, I ain't saying that. Y'all cousins, most likely y'all got the same type of gang. You got two more tags. No, no, no. You would never believe we cousins. I pull my shit out. You would never believe we cousins. You'll be like, pull it out. No, Paul. Exactly. Fuck, bro. I'm not talk no first shit. Banana room. That's how I play. Why are you measuring pieces? Dog? No, like, I'm not measuring pieces. <laughs> We're making light of the situation, shit. but it's not a funny no, situation. Funny. Domestic no. violence first is not funny. No, took this shit so No, I'm just saying you represent the media man. You said you spoke about you. You was the union rep for the media man. Hypothetically speaking, I need a gavel here. We hypothetically speaking, you took that shit. Somewhere else, media man. Pieces and all domestic oh, violence media, isn't funny, and we here at Million Dollars Worth of Game don't support domestic violence. And I hope you can reach out. Okay, and get out what's of your the situation. top thing? What's the top ten things you think she said to him that got him mad? Um, I'm fucking somebody. That's a that's a that's a that's a good one. 
That's a good one. Just in case you want to get dirty. No, I, okay. Uh, if you right, text uh, this nigga uh, right uh, now, uh, arguing sex I just want to ask you this question. I just want to ask you this question, right? So, so, was they in a relationship? Yeah, they were fucking around. See, that's like, that's a knock on Meg the Stallion. How, Gilly, how? Because if, if a nigga 5'4", and you fucking put some pumps on and you 6'4", do you know what the fuck y'all look like You're, walking into somewhere? Look like, I disagree. Look like when you and Tootie together. You're no, about 5'5". Five, five. Like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> I don't even dig it. What the fuck is you talking about? I you, thought it. He like, said it. He 5'4". First, first of all. Good some point. Shit. First of all. Thank you. No, 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 no. Good first point of all, for all, First of all, first of all, Tootie is not taller than me. She taller than you with, with heels on. on. Okay, so so if I'm 5'9". Little man. And hey, little man. You ain't 5'9". Crazy as shit. And 2'5". I'm 5'7". And two, right? Now you, you five nine and up? I'm six one. You want to stand up? Not really. Oh, okay. You cool. taller than him. She taller right. than Gilly. She. White girl taller so, than Gilly. So at the end I of the day, I am taller than him. Yes, she is. Not. Yes, I'm, she is. I'm Look. taller than you. The fuck is you talking? You on fucking drugs? You mad as shit? Up. You no, mad no, no, no. He mad. Taller than him. They ain't gonna be able to see y'all. Don't hey, matter. get Just this fupa out. Stand Don't put this fupa in there. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Now who the fuck no, you talking? Yeah, she taller than Gil. Hey, she taller than Gil. Pretty close. You see, she got that pretty close. She on that tippy toe. Check him. Boink him. Boink him. Boink him, white girl. Boink him. Boink that nigga. He's talking about doink him. He's talking about doink him. Doink him. You better get seven. this fupa out I'm of that. Five, nine, yeah, Got couple, me standing yeah. up on this fucking so thing. If she, so if she put heels on me, she taller than me. But man, if she put heels on, if she put heels on, she you taller than me. But look, she a whole foot taller than down Tory Lanez. Right, though. she already taller than me. So y'all think that a tall woman can't date a short man? I totally disagree with no, that. No, they can't. Totally man, she disagree. Like, with like she probably told him, that's why you can't even suck my titty standing up. Megan, Meg is beautiful. He's handsome. I think they made a nice couple. Nice looking couple. I mean, he he ain't I handsome, think, but he cute. I but. think. Well, what I think happened is another one of these top ten uh, uh, Billboard top ten rappers probably Facetime him. He seen it and went to fuck ballistic. No, she said already that they they heard me. I told y'all before that she was getting a little jealous of the attention and he was showing Kylie. Either way, they drunk. They on. When you add drinks and whatever else, so if in a nigga the mix, shoot you when they on, it's cool. Nigga shoot you in your walkers when it's. If my nigga shot me and he was fucked up, right? Versus shot me, oh, shooting oh, me women is sober, to sober. Women, women, women is, is listening, listening to, this. to this. Don't you say well, no young girls listen shit to this like shit. that. If a nigga shot you when he was I'm, drunk, a pool. Can I spit sober. it out? Go ahead, say that dumb shit. I'm if a say. guy, you don't approve this dumb shit. Men all over the game don't approve this <laughs> don't dumb approve shit. No if dumb a shit. guy was totally inebriated versus being um sober, I was I would look at it different, but it wouldn't make me not leave him. Like it would be the same situation because I'm shot. And you I think be like, I would I understand why you no, shot. No, come me, on. I'm, I'm first not first of like, all who would stay who, with a nigga right, that shoots him question. for real. Who the fuck who 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 the fuck get drunk enough and then say, oh I'm gonna take it to the Agreed. I think bit. cocaine. I think cocaine. Can I say that? It I'm just a, sound like some coked up shit. Like you get hyped up, you know, it sound I'm like some ball, bullshit. I'll, dance, I'll, dance, I'll, bitch, I told you. I'll, I'm a stallion. Hit it. I wouldn't know. Did you, did, did, did you ever did you ever did you ever go skiing before? You saying it like you've been skiing before, like you know. What are you talking about? Skiing. Skiing like what? On a mountain? Some yeah yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm snorting no. What type of motherfucking question is that? Why? Well, well, I don't snort no cocaine. That's your error. Have you snorted any cocaine yeah, in your life? That's he your motherfucking error. Have you, okay, yeah. and you Hollywood. You yeah. didn't. Y'all rich niggas. Yeah. Y'all, that's y'all no, thing. No, no, we we love going to cocaine parties. Whoa, 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 no, not me. <laughs> not me. I don't know what he's talking about. Not me. That's your shit. Don't even play with me like that. Like, come on, now. I'm snorting no coke. I don't judge nobody. Snort coke. It's not my thing. That was Illuminati. I've never even tried. I'm very scared of that shit. Like y'all should be. Home, oh, shit. that was the one you took me to. No, don't, don't put my no but I really do think drugs, alcohol has something to do with it. And I think, of course, it's jealous. They young, you know, they they rich. But the way he handling it, like he a sucker. He talking shit. Right. He's that's what made her go live because he's on blocks talking shit. He going around like almost insinuating as if he didn't do it. You know, you Damn. did it. All I'm right. just curious to know if she gonna try Let me to press shout charges. Out to Walkers, man, let's get into our second sponsor, <laughs> man. Our second sponsor is New Amsterdam Vodka. The New Amsterdam Vodka was born from an uncompromising passion with a great with great uncompromising passion for great vodka this commitment to excellence enabled new amsterdam to produce vodka of superb taste and unparalleled smoothness it's distilled five times it's filtered three times for a clean crisp finish new amsterdam vodka is slightly sweet on the palate, smooth enough to drink on the rocks with you know you could drink it on the rocks you could drink it 
straight up you could drink it with juice you could drink it with soda or you can make a classic new amsterdam mule new amsterdam vodka is the official vodka for barstool sports you know what i mean and uh shout out to the uh naq you know new amsterdam queen shout out to tootie you know we got a new amsterdam at the crib she loved making our little cocktails with the new amsterdam vodka so make sure y'all check out and get you some new amsterdam vodka soon right let's go into um let's get into uh to all the youngins out there man we i want to talk to y'all about something right and it's about chasing your goals and not chasing these hoes and not chasing these hoes. <laughs> and I'm not saying it in the worst name. I'm just saying, you know, we see things that be scandalous. And we, you know, growing up, you, you be in the ghetto and you want some ass. We understand that everybody be on the ass chase. But, like, when you chase your goals and when you have to materialize and everything you say you want to do, and it ain't got to be in your entire life, you might have a 36-month plan. You might have an 18-month plan. You might have a 12-month plan that getting you closer to materializing your dreams and locking down goals and accomplishments in life. And uh, a lot of times we 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 gotta we gotta be able to pay attention to what accomplishments is and just making the move is. It's two different things. So when you out here, you looking at something straight. I'm be talking. I'm gonna start friendly, but a lot of dudes looking. I want some pussy. When you locking your goals down and you locking your dreams down and you doing all everything that all that little small shit. That's small shit in the grand scheme of life. That come with it. That that's a package deal that come with that. Once you put yourself in position and you get the things that you need in order to operate in this world. You need a crib, you need a vehicle, you need all your identification. Mm -hmm. the identification is like the, that's like the, the first point. Because I know dudes that drive $100,000 cars ain't got no license. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just being straight up. Me too. So, so, so what I'm saying is, and, and, and it's like, that's <laughs> real, real oxymoronic. You saying to yourself, do this shit make any sense? You went and spent all this money. And some of them be legit too. Mm -hmm. Like legit car, everything. Like somebody else's name, but you driving this car with no license. I'm trying to figure out how do that add, how you can take the time to get your license or figure it out or whatever, whatever's mm -hmm. going on, but you got a hundred thousand dollar car. Mm -hmm. So so number one, the first thing that you gotta get, the lock in your thing, whatever you're doing, get your paperwork. License, passport, get all your paperwork. If you got a company, don't just be hustling and making it under the table, because when when it's under the table, it gotta stay under the table. There was a lot of people that came up doing this, you know, this whole corona thing. They came up because they had their business thing in order, so they was able to get every, all the support that they needed because they shit wasn't under the table, it was over the table. Think about that. A lot of people got to bring their hustles and whatever they got going over the table so they could be able to benefit off of anything they come into the businesses, tax breaks, whatever it may be. But you make sure you got your identification and all your paperwork, whatever they may be. Then you got to make sure you got somewhere to stay at because you don't want to be out here chasing a piece of pussy and you living, you living with somebody. Like that shit is crazy. Right. That's Talk some shit. Heavy. That's some shit. The Basement Warrior. Shout out to the Basement Warrior Organization of America. I used to be a member. I'm just not. I'm not gonna knock it out. <laughs> but but I wasn't really a Basement Warrior because I still was a teenager. A cellar dweller. Yeah, you're right. But still, but I. But you I, was a middle room warrior when you came home from jail. That don't count. I just came home from jail. So There's no such thing warrior. as a middle room. Warrior. They didn't start that organization, so I, they didn't start that that the middle room. Nigga, warrior. you. I started it. You was a middle room warrior at nanny. Well, crib. it started. And then he in there slaying bitches and shit. Nanny hearing them and shit. Can't hear him oh, you right. no, 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 no. I never no, brung no, a chicken no, in the crib with nanny. Dirty, you you yes, I'm a 37 year old man. I couldn't bring a chicken in the crib with nanny. Was there? You got two more texts. Then you know what's fucked up is when you got an older person in there who ain't really had no action and they gotta hear you drilling some shit to the wall. You, that, that was did real disrespect Damn, to you, man, to do that. I didn't bring nobody in there with Nanny room was right next to mine. I know, and you was in there so drilling shit. smashing right next door. No, he I did was not in there do drilling that, and I killing. Not, listen, yeah. Why are y'all assuming hey, that he got the hey, pussy because she spent the night? Hey, he was in there drilling and killing. Walla was in there talking to that <laughs> bitch about her <laughs> life plans. He had bitches in there he calling. He talked her to sleep. Listen. He had I bitches never in there listen. calling. <laughs> I never done that, man. Cause listen, listen, listen. You, let, let me, you, you know the you worst thing in the world. No, no, let me tell you. I remember when you told me, cuz. Nanny wasn't there. I think Nanny heard me last night. Nanny wasn't there. No, uh, Nanny was Imagine there. that first piece of pussy after 20 years. No, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. He called, everything I love. He called me up in the morning. He's messing it up. He's messing it up. He called me up in the morning. He said, He's messing it up. Because I had some wild. I go say what where she was from. No, 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 no. Some no. wild such and such pussy last Let's night. Let's say it. We don't no. hold back on this. This how you know he lying. He said, "This how you lie." This how you fucking lie. <laughs> no, no, you don't. This how you know he lying. Listen, check <laughs> <Chico. laughs> Yes, he did. Like you, you lying on chick from Africa. No, 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 he's lying on. Oh yeah, chick from Africa had the biggest ass in Zumunda. The bitch had the biggest ass. The bitch had the biggest ass. African pussy. That sounds terrible. This way, I'm not you. Listen, hold on. Can I finish my story? You lying on me though. 
Yeah. No, I'm not. Listen. Watch. He had a chick Watch from fucking Nigeria or Liberia. What a she Probably had the, she had the biggest right, ass in Congo, thing. right? So he called me up. Very beautiful he talk about, women. He talking about cuz. Watch this. He talking about cuz. Watch. He going to even say he, he Listen, mixed it up. Watch. He, he going to say cuz. I had some wild African pussy last that night. That shit sounds right? crazy. Say, he talk about. He talk about. It just sounds weird. He talk about. I stabbed the bitch on. like OJ last night. Left a dead by the bed, right? I said, what? Then he say. But I think Nanny heard me. No, I didn't. This is how you know he lying. <laughs> well, anything I love. Now, 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 listen. When I when I break it down, you are gonna be like, damn. Okay, that was that You're was what lying, happened. You're lying, Wallah. You know how you fucking lying? I called you when I said I think Nanny heard me watching pornos, getting busy one night. It was never about no, no ass. It gets worse. I didn't have no fucking ass in there. Yes. It I gets like, worse. I wasn't Nanny like that. You what the fuck are they like bringing some ass and nanny in the next room? That's what you told nanny me. ain't gonna knock on the door and say what, nothing. What, what, okay, so you're gonna turn the volume down. Okay, so you don't write the story. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, so let me ask you this question. So let me ask you. Okay, a nigga did 20 years in jail. Hold on. A nigga did 20 years in jail. He come home. He staying at nanny house. Right? <laughs> Middle room. That's where his parole is too, right? But he's popping out here. He got a gang of bitches that's trying to, nah, I ain't bring to nobody body slam di his dick in their mouth. Like <laughs> they they trying to suplex. I used to do home <laughs> service. I never went to. I never. I used to do home delivery at these bros. You know, I used to do home delivery. You I was home and delivery. You, listen, I he, delivered a dick to their crib. Listen, he did. Listen, <laughs> he did home deliveries, and he did. He did. He. He was Minnie Van Dam. On everything I love, she heard me listen he to fuck, porno. Listen, getting busy he, one night. Listen, That's it. He, I've already heard listen, the minivan he got story. A lot of ass in the minivan. This is crazy. I'm keeping it. He ain't had nowhere to go. You know what I mean? Sometimes the gotta, fucking telly. Oh, no, 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 no. You want you think he was spending some money on the telly? You know what I learned? Up. No, no. You know what I learned? This is no bullshit. I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, young boys, this. It seemed like. Chicks was more comfortable getting busy in the van or just saying the telly. I remember I was saying something to, about the telly day. We could shoot to the telly. Oh, no, I don't do tellies. But I slayed you in the van already. <laughs> so why? Like, they more comfortable. Youngest. They more comfortable getting busy in, 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 a, in a minivan youngest. than it is. The young bloods. I'm so you trying to turn all these youngins okay. in a minivan no, dance? You're talking about the young bitches. You the young, young, bitches. The young dudes. I'm telling you. He trying to turn all these young boys in a minivan dance. I have dance. a question for both of y'all. Can y'all answer my question? So because yeah. I told you about the porno I was listening to. I ain't tell you. I had How a does a young guy know if he's spending too much time on women versus the time on his goals and his dreams? Like, does he have room for women this at how, all? This is how, this how you know. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. This is how you know. Let me say something too, right? And to all you youngins out there, when we telling you, right, chasing your goals and not chasing it, stop chasing these hoes, we not telling you that you don't want to, you know, you got to throw your dick on the shelf. Okay. We not telling you that. But you got motherfuckers out here that they hustle. To get a little close. Just for bitches. Just for the bitches. Yeah. They, they, they go get them big stupid ass sneaks mm -hmm. just for the bitches. Mm -hmm. They, they. Like buy the bar out. Like buy the bar out just for the bitches. Like they stand, they they ride around, they trap off their phone, or they be in the hood, they trap, they get all the money they made today. They about to go fuck that money up just for the bitches. Right. Yeah. When the whole time, if you take that money and you invest and you stack your paper. You don't, you don't got to chase the bitches. The bitches gonna chase you. Facts. And trust me, they gonna catch you, nigga. Facts. Big fact. They going to catch you. And then a lot of people be out here chasing people that don't want to get caught. That's right. a big fact. You're chasing, you're chasing people that don't want to like get caught. Like a real player know that you don't chase bitches, you chase money. Because when you got money, bitches chase you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real player know that. So a real nigga always going to put himself in, in, in a position where it's dope. Even if you got a woman, you love it. You always want to be in a position where you ain't got to depend on no motherfucking woman for nothing. Because a lot of you niggas go through what you go through because you're dependent on a bitch. You Thanks. can't tell a bitch, bitch, fuck you, bitch. I'm out. So they get to talk extra spicy to you. Yeah, you bum ass nigga. And you really a bum. So it and hurts let me your just heart. Say this. Ooh, and let me say who this. you talking to? You want a piece up, bitch, now. who you, you talking to like that, bitch? You a bum. And let me say this. She the, telling you your truths, the, nigga. Live your truths. The game changed. <laughs> Listen, the game changed dramatically because, and I'm going to just say this, and it ain't no battle, but I'm just getting all get young people some game. Back <coughs> in the day, the man was out here handling his business. Right. Hold up. The man was, you know, pull up on the shorty. They see her, 
Like, you come to the crib. Ho, ho, baby, you ain't got no furniture in here? Mm-hmm. Let me call. Fact. Yo, bring it. She need the furniture set. Damn, the food. Ho, you got a little man in here? And they ain't got no food? Remember the time. Well, listen, and, and, you ain't got no and food? And not to cut you off. Nigga used to do real shit like that. Now you niggas is the furniture. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. you're stuck to the couch. Mm-hmm. Yo, motherfuckers used to do real shit. But, but, but hold up, cuz. A lot of, listen. And we gonna talk about the referees on both sides. <laughs> The referees from the old the old the OG chick that used to be in the neighborhood that was the aunt, the mom, sometimes the cousin giving the young girl game, they disappear and they don't listen to them. A lot of the OG chicks start being jealous of the younger chicks, and that instead of giving them game, they just got them out here lost. So they don't know they worth. They don't know what they supposed I to never get. Never looked right. at it. Look, like listen, that. Pay, hold up. And on the other side, the young boys in the street game, the referees, the, which is the, the officials of the street culture, the OGs, they went to jail, started getting high, moved away, or, or, you know, or they fell off. So, And then you got the boys that just still be lingering around. They ain't really no OGs or the referees. That's why a lot of these young cats ain't had no, nobody to give them no game. And they used the blueprint of social media and, and, and YouTube as their goddess. That was their old head. So they didn't have nobody base. give them the game. So when a young girl, she don't know that, hold up, you mean to tell me you living in a spot and your shit ain't right, and a motherfucker coming into your spot, and it ain't right here in your ass, and he out here doing this and third, and he ain't bringing nothing to the table. And I'm not talking about prostitution. It's about respect for you. Because if I respect you, I'm going to look out for you. Right. right. I'm well, not, hello? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being real. Talk I'm, heavy. But, 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 but well, a lot of you. be uh, though. Uh, no, 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 sir. Nah, no, sir. No, that's no, some sir. real shit no, no, sir. Lotto talking no, no, about no. over there, man. You, you don't be tricking. When you, you had women in your life tone that whereas though when you got with them, and you fuck with them, you going to look out for them and make sure that they in position. As you like should. a lot of women out here these days, and I ain't telling her, you'll be fucking with a motherfucker and a motherfucker might be right, but they ain't making sure you right. So a motherfucker really don't even fuck with you. Yep. But you don't know this because you ain't never have an older woman put you on game on how you supposed to be like. Baby, it's cool to have a fat ass. It's cool to look cute. It's cool to, but, but we your living, dad we, hold really up, hold do up, that. Hold up, hold up. We living in a time, but a lot of women ain't had a dad. That's and what they don't, the problem and, and, and they ain't had no woman give it to them. And, and, and at the end of the day, you got to look at it yourself, woman. There's a lot of women out here with the fat ass, a lot of women out here looking good, a lot of what's the name? But one thing that a real cat respect, he respect a, a, a woman that know her worth and know that she not playing because I know, hold up, you, you, you coming like this, you ain't playing? Okay, I know you ain't easily accessible and you ain't playing no games. And, and a real cat that need to be in your life, he ain't, got no, he ain't got no problem with breaking that scratch off and making sure you cool if he cool. Rather as you trying to start a business, rather whatever position you're trying to be in in life. I'm just being real with you. Right. Because yeah. I didn't see dudes, listen, in my day, I didn't see dudes get it a business, get it a crib, get it a car, bankroller, make sure she cool. Now, all you gotta do is just be somewhere and you getting some ass. You ain't gotta stop past the house. You could come in the house, go crack the refrigerator open, the same time little Raheem crying, he got a dirty pamper on, the house fucked up, and you don't even care. Right. Think about that. And at the end of the day, the, the you know. The, the the young girls who I feel the worst for is the young girls who don't have who didn't have the guidance who didn't have the OG the old head, chick. old head chick to really lay some game on them so they don't really know the value of their vaginas. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And if you don't know the value of your vagina, then you know you just giving your vagina out. You feel what I'm saying? Your vagina. I, I I teach my daughters that your vagina is a pot of gold. And if you give all your fucking gold out, all you got is empty fucking pot. Mm-hmm. Don't no nigga want no bitch with no empty pot. Because that's a deep ass vagina. Because it done took a bunch of fucking dicks in it. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to know the value of your vagina, ladies. This, the, 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 the ladies that confuse me the most is the ladies, is the winner loser bitches. The WLBs. You feel me? They, they, they spend their whole motherfucking life winning. They go to school. They do all the proper shit. In life, to win and then they go fuck with a lose ass nigga. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, bitch, that's uh, super backwards. Mm-hmm. Fuck is wrong with you. Teach. Like, you do everything right in life, but you go fuck with a lose ass nigga that ain't got nothing going on who gonna come live off you, drop you off at work in your car, put 44,000 miles on your <laughs> shit this year for no motherfucking reason at all. You got the lace of nigga pockets. He showed up to the- work. He showed up late to work to come get you in your car with his homie and it smell like weed. Right. The nigga, and then, and then he got to tell his homie to get in the back seat. And, you and, and, your car. And, 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 and a bitch think this is a relationship. He ain't got no license. And he ain't got no license. And a bitch Duck think shit. this is a relationship. 
I'm not talking about you, Mona. I know you're going through a lot of shut shit right up. now, Mona. Shut up, because you know they be you. on it. He's, uh, shut up. That's a joke. She's sitting here like this. Because, no, the reason I'm sitting here like this is because deep. I really feel, stop. <laughs> now, <laughs> shut up. No, she cool. This, Tony, the clothes got a Lambo. Listen, she got her no, boyfriend got a Lambo. I think that, I don't disagree with y'all. Everything y'all saying is right, but just from a female point of perspective, you can have as many old heads as you want. Your father, that's why y'all got to, you got to raise your daughters. Your father really like sets the tone for But I got something deep to talk about Can that. I say no, no, no. I'm talking about later on the story from the cell. It's deep. It's funny you saying the father. Go ahead. Your father is the first person that shows you the scale of how you judge how a man's supposed to handle you. You feel me? If your father talks nasty to you, call you bitches, disrespect you, you kind of more susceptible. You kind of more. Um, like programmed to deal with that susceptible yeah pro like programmed to deal with that it's not foreign to you if your daddy call you princess and talk to you sweet and love you and kind of first nigga you run into that's yeah. verbally abusive or physically abusive you looking at him like what the fuck is this you're not putting up with the same shit of the daughter that's been seeing abuse her whole life even if you're abusing her mother because you can't be a good daddy if you whooping her mom ass. She can see that. That mm. shit fucks Talk with your heavy. daughter. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's very important, like in the beginning. I mean, literally, I'm talking about from a toddler that your daughter feels like you the number one thing. I don't give a fuck how many daughters you got. She got to feel like she's the most important thing to you. And you make time and space for her on a regular basis all the time. That's going to set the tone for her if she's going to be on the fucking pole or not. Straight up. Like, it, it, it fucks you up when you have daddy issues. It ain't just issues. the pole. It's just that willingness, like you said, motherfucker put it through the ringer right yeah, it's just and i know this i know this from talking to a lot of young girls on live a lot of young girls fucking with a lot of old because my son was like dad ain't no ain't no young girls out there all fucking with That's the older niggas you know why because you young niggas ain't giving up nothing but dick and problems <laughs> them old niggas giving up dick and dollars <laughs> <laughs> they like leaving out there with their little pockets little laced they starting to learn the game they like okay i done dealt with ronnie bobby ricky and mike and i didn't get nothing from these young niggas but dmps dick and problems no they they like fuck that i like D and d's dick and dollars i like that. yeah me. <laughs> i i like to get i like for old head to blow out my back and then send me to sex <laughs> too far. I'm just saying, Tone. This nigga rhymes all day long. I'm just don't be He's mad at me. T tear up the coochie and send me the Gucci, huh? Uh, you know what oh me? my God, look Fuck is wrong right. with you? Yeah, you know I mean? got an album dropping, y'all. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> fuck is wrong well, with I'll you? Yeah, I mean? drop. Fuck is wrong with it? <laughs> you know that's, that's how they want it. Though. Hey, that's how they want it. That's, that's crazy. why. Uh, how many young girls get on my live and all of them be like, I don't really mess with young boys. Yeah. I, I like. And it, cause I'm start, I was starting to look at what these the young girls like, what the but that's fuck how it was is when going I was young on? Too. Everybody went old here. Oh, you was fat. We was fucking with Fat Mike with the bands, huh? Yeah, uh huh. Uh, she had to, he had to lift his gut all up to put it in. His huh? name but was you, Nino. You, you took it though, huh? She like she's coming out telling me. Rest Nino. in peace to Nino. Rest Scarducci. in peace to little chubby Nino Scarducci. Little chubby nigga, right? He was a tall chubby nigga. Tall chubby. How you gonna nigga? be tall? That's because he was six, like six two. He's a big nigga though. Hey, let's get into our next sponsor. Let's get into man. our next sponsor. One thing about Ship Station is, no matter I'm talking about how big or small your company is, Ship Station will get your things to the, to the destination that you wanted to get. Like this, I'm talking about simple interface. I don't care what you're selling on SD, Amazon, wherever you're selling at. It don't matter where you're selling at. If you're selling and your stuff need to be shipped, ShipStation is the place for you. One thing about ShipStation, they'll give you a free 60-day, listen, free trial. But what you got to do is you got to go to ShipStation.com. No. And you got to, listen, listen, code game. You got to use code game on ShipStation.com. And listen, they're going to look out for you for 60 days, free trial. Listen, man, I'm talking about they got everything you, I'm talking about you can make things real simple. I'm talking about. Really, really easy to manage in one, listen, from one device or even your cell phone, ShipStation.com. Check out ShipStation.com, 60-day, trial-free, don't matter, nothing happened, ShipStation.com, code G-A-M-E, and it's just like that. And ShipStation.com, your stuff get to you like this. Well, yeah. you got to do it at the same time, you ready? That's the, no. So what you do with ShipStation.com, your stuff gets to you like this. That's it with the snapping. That fast. One Damn. more time. Like oh, this. Damn, you was before me. One more time. That's it. There you go. We, did, right. we did. That was nice. Was so uh, we got my man, the closer, aka, AKA the, the proof dot com, aka the tackler, Big okay, Tony. Tony. Okay, did you see how she put that big on it? I knew it. It's come, listen, it's going to come out. We got the first uh, me and I was where we getting wet and Tony the closure. He's going to propose to us soon. It's coming out. I seen the ring. 
I mean, shout out to the jeweler that did the ring. They've been, Raheem. They've been, listen, listen, Raheem, huh? listen, she went to Raheem. She requested. <laughs> no, Raheem got to do my ring. He yeah, got the best Raheem. deals. Look at her. See, she, uh, she, she see, listen, she don't even want that much. Shout I, out to Raheem, the listen, jeweler. Listen, listen, on some real shit, <laughs> you see, she said Raheem. She, she, listen, Tone, that's why I plugged Tone up with, you got Raheem and Brahim. Brahim sell all the fake clothes. Mm. I plugged him up with Brian. He Shut bought up. a bunch of shit. She loved it. Uh, she loved what it. What happened in Atlanta? Oh, man, Atlanta was crazy. We, uh. We did the no refund, no peace uh, uh, rally at the uh, Legacy Center, the Black House, and uh, it was a hell of a turnout. I uh, had a lot of people come support. Uh, a lot of victims came forward that, that had you know, been taken advantage of by Jay Morrison. Um, something good that came out of it, I had gave away 50 grand. So I gave away 50 grand back to people who had been victimized by the whole uh, uh, joint. So we had one lady had uh, lost like 15,000 I we, saw we that you gave her, her fifteen thousand. Yep, cool. But man, let's talk about how you get people this money. Yeah, and that's the most important part. So even while I was there, we did some training on the Rona proof, uh, and, and it was dope because we had a couple of people that came from uh, e either watching Million Dollar Worth of Game and uh, Rona proof that's training. Cool. Uh, one of the dudes that made thirty five thousand. How was, since 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 you since you've been like how many how, how much this year doing 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 Corona, doing anything that's been going on, how much you think totally all your people made. Yeah, so during the pandemic, we're over 1.2 million, uh, and my and my people that come through the training, uh, and it's been that's probably been the best part about it is, and and, and a lot and, of this is free training, right? Free doing the free trainings, uh, because because wholesaling, for example, you don't have to have like a license, mm -hmm. so so the whole idea is you got to just understand like who you get in contact with, and that's I I, I show you all that on a webinar. Uh, and I, I basically break down the 10 steps to how you actually get in contact with the people that need to sell their house and how you go through so the entire up, process. Uh, let me stop you for one minute. I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny Chill at the crib. Or, or I'm a couch warrior. I'm a basement warrior. And I'm just in there. <laughs> hey, I'm a basement warrior. I'm sitting in the basement playing the game, doing whatever. And I come across Rona Proof. What, and, and I ain't got nothing going on. How can Rona Proof help me? Because you mean to tell me I can make money with Rona Proof and I'm a basement warrior? Hey, the best part about it is because Corona happened, it made everybody have to figure out how to do everything virtual. Right. So this training teaches you how to do everything where you don't have to leave the house. You, you know, back, most people think real estate, you gotta go Talk to, to the, the mic, property. Tom. You, you know, they think you gotta go to the property, you gotta, you know, actually meet somebody. I'm showing you the exact way to do it from home. So I'm sitting right here as a basement where on my computer. Laptop, cell phone, and then follow Do you the need a steps. laptop? What if you only got a laptop? You need a laptop. I want you to be on a, because the reality is some of the data that we're going to be sending out, you got to be able to have access okay. to to be able to view some stuff. But laptop, Wi-Fi, and a cell phone, you're good to go. So I don't need no money. A laptop, Wi-Fi, no, and a cell phone. No money. No. You talking about I don't need no money. No money. Damn. So so the best part about it is obviously if you have money, it helps you with marketing dollars. You you can you know obviously market to more people, but you don't need money to get started. And a lot of people get. Uh, the, they got this misconception about real estate. You got to have a license, or you got to have hundreds of thousands of dollars to get think. to get in it. And this is the best part about wholesaling: is you go from uh, essentially you're using the contract, and the paperwork is is how you, you actually control the property. And the, uh, and the best part about wholesalers is we got 30 days to to have a property under contract, and if we can't sell it, we can cancel the contract. So you you don't have anything to lose. So you can be sitting at home just putting properties under contract every single day. And you, find, you basically after that, once you so put you teach a property them how to, contract, how to create their contract. Yep, the contract show you the whole process okay. where you get everything at. It's all on the webinar. And the best part is because you can do this shit at home and you have nothing to lose. It's like, hey, I'm just sending people marketing, and the people that tell me yes, now I can make five, ten, twenty plus thousand dollars. So I'm making money sitting at home during the pandemic and that that's how like a lot of people right now have got you know you know really changed their lives because the what i think the uh bureau of labor and statistics says like the average black household makes like 31 grand that's 31 to thirty four thousand mm. dollars and, and i got people taking this training that have made you know 30 grand in a deal wow so it is real powerful to be able to really understand like the different levels of real estate because everybody really think that you got to have a bunch of money good credit all those things is, is false your background if you got bad background you know fucking you know like me I, I i was coming out of jail when i started doing this stuff mm -hmm. so i i don't want i don't want the young guys to be out there like damn tone i just gotta go out here and, and and go hustle like this is the best hustle you can do like this hustle changed my life and it's helped so many other young but boys it's not a hustle it's a business you pay taxes right not, taxes and everything yeah, not, else not, right. a legal hustle 
And this is yeah. this is like something that you know I know a lot of people talk about generational wealth and 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 building up everything like that, right? And the way that you get that is by understanding that there's more than one way to skin a cat, and that doesn't mean that you always got to be a realtor. Oh, you be skinning cats, and Peter, don't say that. You, Peter might get you. <laughs> yeah, don't but, be out here skinning cats. <laughs> I, we, I be skinning nice. a different type of cat. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, he looked at Mona. Uh, uh, Mona, they, they're doing something. They're fucking. I, I knew yeah, Mona gave him the eyes like, yeah. Don't be putting it out there. <laughs> No, nah, that's all I love with Mo, and I just be fucking with the niggas on there because they be going crazy. But straight up, y'all, www.ronaproof.com. Um, Sunday, y'all get to check it out. Uh, it's a 10 step uh, what day, webinar. Tell them every, what day, what time, every, and what, every yep, day? What day? Uh, 3 p.m. Sundays. Uh, you get to go right through the full training. It's, it's like a two hour training. You don't need any money to get started, y'all. For this webinar, it's going to give you the exact 10 steps. At the end, if you want to join in my course, there's an option, but you literally don't even have to take the course, and you're going to have everything you need to know, the exact 10 steps, how to get paid, and that's the most important part I wanted to give, you know, I wanted to give the people the game to where they didn't have to feel like they had to go invest hundreds of thousands of dollars to be right. able to have access to it, because everybody wants to monetize everything. Everybody wants to say they about the people, but they got charge you for everything. So I wanted you to come in and say, hey, damn, I, w I can learn the full process of wholesaling, what it is, what it's about, for free and then if it's something i feel like i want to proceed a little bit deeper in then they can come and work with me right. uh, on a personal basis so right. if they want to go on a personal basis with me uh we do have that option it's two thousand dollar training and that's for lifetime access so there's no more upsells or you know whatever it's like one-time fee and you in but for the actual webinar sunday 3 p.m free. it's 100 percent free Tap you learn in. everything you need www.ronaproof.com cool. hey listen let's get into me and osworth for game I haven't done one of these in a while. So this girl hit me up. She said, Gilly, I need some game. I can't make friends like women always do because women always do horrible hater shit to me, even though I'm thorough. My mm. girlfriends always seem like they are mad losing competition with me. They never invite me out, and when they do, they ask me to tone myself down. And other girls who I feel won't act like that aren't really open with their social circles. <laughs> I only get invited to expensive stuff because I can afford to come and get treated bad or not or no invite at all. This is starting to bother me because I'm single and I feel like if I don't go out, I won't find a man because I'm a cosmetologist. So all I see at work is women and gay men. I don't want to join a dating app and I want to make friends help Please. Yeah, she need to get on Bumble. What the no. fuck? <laughs> well, see, the first thing is, yeah. first thing is, your girlfriends don't call you because, bitch, you probably don't know how to act. Facts. Once you just said they got to tell you to tone it the fuck down. Oh, broke okay. ass bitch. Okay. Once they told oh, me, yeah. once you said they <laughs> yeah, always want to tell me to tone it down, that mean she you, you a motherfucker. <laughs> you, that mean you a dab. <laughs> a D-A-B. What's a fucking dab? A drawn ass mean? bitch. Like, yeah. you just want to get there and just draw, be all loud, Ay. be all obnoxious, can't handle Ay, your Ay, liquor. Ay, Ay. When it's time to leave, bitches got to call you an Uber and then well, you to go to home because you got to leave your car here tonight and come get your car Boom. in the morning and all Ay. that shit. Because you know, they be so, all drunk. let me tell you something, man. Sometimes I, I feel your girlfriends mm -hmm. because sometimes I got homies that I fuck with them. They're going to be my homies for life, but we ain't going nowhere together. <laughs> you know what I mean? We ain't, you ain't going to never see me and certain niggas in clubs together, none of that, because these niggas can't let yesterday go. Right. These niggas, these niggas, you got niggas that make up problems in their mind. Mm -hmm. You be in a club, party, a nigga come over to you all says, yo, what's up with them niggas over there? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who them niggas over standing over there? Yeah. Any. Them niggas with the bitches. They chilling. They That's not enjoying life that ain't even paying no attention nope. to us. No, I seen them niggas look over here. Yeah, we got no listen, dog. Listen, have a shootout. Listen, no, fuck that. Like you, like, like I can't come nowhere with you. Like mm -hmm. and so, I understand how your girlfriends is. They probably like this bitch is embarrassing. Mm -hmm. This bitch don't know how to act. Mm -hmm. This bitch get sloppy drunk. Mm -hmm. They probably ain't whores, and they probably like this bitch leave with Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. The whole new addition, you never know who she leaving with. Mm -hmm. then, then, then she go to Josie then, next week. Right. Cause I hate and, that. And then we feel bad because this bitch leaving off with a nigga that she don't know, and we know she shit face drunk. And we nervous, but the bitch don't listen to us, so now we can't sleep tonight because we worried about <laughs> if the bitch is going to end up in the trunk. 
Mm-hmm. If the bitch gonna end up drunk, fucked all over in the trunk, you feel what I'm saying? So I kind of understand. Like you, like in life, you got to know your friends. Mm-mm-mm. You feel what I'm saying? In life, you got to know. Okay, these is my turn up friends. Like Wallow. I don't really like going out of town with Wallo. <laughs> motherfucker go to sleep at 9.30 every fucking night. We the fuck in Miami, Super Bowl motherfucking weekend. He sleep at 9.30. But I was up 5 o'clock looking for yeah, you walking the, fuck the beach. Is, right, what the fuck is you doing up at 5? Nobody wakes up 5 o'clock in I'm Miami. I'm walking the beach. And they, they, they go to bed yeah, at 5, five o'clock, o'clock in he Miami. He would argue with me because I knock on his door at like 8 o'clock. Like, come on, let's go get some breakfast. I done did all type of shit. I walk, I walk like three miles on the fucking beach being one with the earth. See, sometimes you just got to connect with earth. I'm looking at the sunrise. I'm feeling the water on my feet, the sand going through my toes. Real next level life shit. always got your feet out. Yeah, this was the, So I'll come back. Come on, guys, let's hit the beach. He in there asleep. Tell me, yo, what the fuck is you doing knocking on my door? I knocked on the door first and I had the key. I always got the backup. I keep keys to when he got me somewhere. He got the hotel. I saw him in there shaking. Yo, what the fuck is you doing, man? <laughs> now you on some jail shit. You can't yeah, touch you me when you big. No, no, because you shook me. First of all, you did twenty years. Don't touch no nigga. You, you having flashback when you waking your celly up. Your celly woke you up. What you doing? Come on, let's. No, go. he never woke me up. Fuck is you doing? Yes, she did. Yeah. Your celly did wake you up and check the fuck out you. No, my celly woke me up for count one time. No, 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 no. Okay, what about? Come on, dog. The old head who Why came Why you bringing back shit that don't matter no more? I told you I already told that story. Oh, all right. Leave that shit alone. Oh, okay. Just make What's sure my name that. Like, uh, what? No, old head came there. When he first came, he was on drugs. So when he came in the cell, Wallow thought he put the law down and listen to me tell you some old head. Let this motherfucker cell stay clean 24-7. <laughs> don't be in here with all that day. All this extra dumb shit. Old head told him, you know. A motherfucker month came in. Old he head got his, got his weight back. back. Because he listen, dudes the from the jail get their weight up. It's over. Now he back to normal. Now he ain't on them drugs no more. That nigga woke Wallow right the fuck up. Man, man, that shit you was talking last I said, month. No, man. I'm a, <laughs> no, I'm he woke you up. Uh, misunderstand. It was a misunderstanding, man. That's you know, funny as <laughs> shit. Yeah, he, he was about to knock Wallow out you that got joint. To plea fuck no, he respected me. I looked out for him. Cause he got buff. He was about to hey, shit. He was about to knock Wallow up and knock it, knock him out, and knock him up. Wallow to woke up pregnant. This <laughs> nigga medium with the shit. crack, a two X. He ever fascinated you with spicy shit in jail? He would. You would have been in jail dying to be spicy. I can see you now. Soon as you went to jail, he would have went in there. Your name Gilly? My name Gil. Gil the Hey. You would have oh been. Right, you would have flipped right out because you fucking spicy, man. Hey, hey, hey! Listen, man. Hey, let's get into uh, stories from the cell. This shit is interesting, man. Now, this this in the cell, out in the free world. Homie called me from jail. Stories from the cell. He called me old Selly, right? Now, you know, you don't be knowing anybody business. This is the second time somebody called me from jail and put me on a dummy mission. They got me checked by their family members. So he called me from jail, right? He been in jail 21 years right now, right? He went to jail when he was 18, all that. He said, man, I need you to go see my daughter. You know what I mean? I shot him from scratch. You know, I'm thinking, you know, he called him. I'm like, damn, where you said, No, I don't need no more money. I'm cool right now. Niggas really don't tell you that from jail. You know what I mean? That's some new shit. So <laughs> he said, I need you to go holler at my daughter for me. I said, all right, solid. You know what I'm saying? He got a daughter. She, he got a granddaughter too. She got a daughter, right? So he had his daughter about two years before he went to jail. He was 16, he had his daughter. Wound up going to jail when he was 18. So listen, he got life. So I go see his daughter, right? Pull up. It was, it was good. She, you know, she, she's a supporter of my work. She's like, oh my God, God, you was in the gym with my dad. This, that, there. I'm like, yeah, that's my, you know, boom, 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 bang. I ain't, he never. So listen, I say, uh, because she stopped fucking with him two years ago. I don't know nothing about this. He don't give me no game. Only thing that he tell me is that him and his daughter is on the outs right now. We on the outs and this, that, and the third, and boom, boom, boom. If you out here and you in the streets, this is something that is a big chance that you might go through. So make sure while you out here in the streets, you, you, you got to ask yourself and you got to measure this. Is this street life worth more than my family, my kids? I'm pleased. I'm telling you. So... I go check out, you know, be kicking it. She said, I said, yeah, man, you know, this that third. She said, yeah, well, I haven't been talking to him. And she said, like, two years, like he said, this that third. It's just that, you know, he never tell me why they wasn't talking. He just said, talk to him, man. I need to, I want to see my grandbaby. And, I, you know, this that third, right? I said, all right, cool. I'm going to get up there, you know. Oh, then I get up there. I give her some money, whatever she need to come up there. Boom, boom, bang. I go over there. She said, listen, I'm really like, like, I'm, I'm done with, I'm just done. I just need, I just need something in my life. I'm just done. I said, what you mean? You done? That's your dad. You know, he want to he wanna see you this and that third, boom, boom, boom. So she just kept telling me she done and, you know, the baby playing. And I'm like, damn, he got, he'd love to see y'all. I'm and I'm breaking down the, the journeys of prison and how hard it is this and that third. 
and she just started crying, right? You know what I mean? I understand, like, you was in jail, so you represent him, and you got to understand that, but what about me? What about all I went through? Come to find out. This man told her that he had a certain amount of time. The whole time he had life, she never knew. So growing up, she thinking her dad going to come home one day. Oh the mom the mom finally told her. And, I'm, and I, I don't know who to blame. I, I'm not trying to blame it on nobody. But he didn't ever say nothing to her. You know, when she was, he was coming to see, you know, as, as a little girl growing up, like she grew up her whole life. Her dad was in prison going to see him. She, she, he ain't never tell her. So the mom finally just was like, your dad got life. He ain't coming home, right? On some real shit, like just raw. So she fucked up because she thinking all this time going to see him that he going to be coming out the joint or whatever. And I'm she not She's thinking my dad got yeah. 15 years, mm, 20 yeah. years. She yeah. going to see him. And I'm not saying. As, not, as, as she growing up and the whole truth is he ain't never coming home. Listen, my, my thing is like this. Everybody, everybody, how can I say this? Everybody, and what's sad about it, I've been in prison. A lot of dudes that be in prison, you had dudes that be in prison, they be so delusional that they're going to get out one day. And I'm not saying just because you got life. You, you I mean, In Pennsylvania, life means you die, come back, 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 die, come back. And then maybe they might think you get paroled. Then you got to die again just to get out. The only way you make parole in Pennsylvania when you got life, you got to die to leave that prison. Without no shackles or nothing on you. I'm just being straight up. But or just because you got life don't mean you can't win on a pill. But whatever the case may be, I don't know nothing about that with his situation. I just know that she was so, she break down and then she crying. I, I couldn't say nothing. But I'm like, damn, bro. You sent me over this motherfucker not knowing the whole story. I am i don't even know what the fuck's going on. I'm thinking she just cut you off. She like, man, I've been waiting for my dad forever. That was like one of my biggest days. He missed, and she talked about anything. He missed my graduation. He missed anything. You know what I mean? Me dealing with boys, me, and, once, and it goes back to what Mona say. He wasn't there to give her game. Mm -hmm. And if you're not on the streets with your daughter, somebody else going to be giving your daughter game that's going to be beneficial to them and not beneficial to your daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you leave your daughter out here because you chose the streets over your fucking kids, you got to remember this. And like I always tell dudes this. When you out here in the streets, you got to think about it. Somebody going to be out here in the streets putting the game on your son or putting the game on your daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But somebody going to be putting game on them that's not going to give them the game that you're going to give them because you're giving it from a loving and you want to protect them. Some game that's going to be protective game. Right. And, and next thing you know, they on the joint. So I always say it costs too much to be a criminal. A lot of you dudes don't listen. It's cool. That's your story. And a lot of you dudes, y'all built for this. Like I tell everybody, when I run into the youngest, we kicking it, and, and they say I'm out here while I'm out here, I ask them one thing. And I'm asking all you dudes out there that's out here in the streets. And I'm asking him. you this. I got to ask you this. Ask him. You got 30 in you? Hmm? Mm. You got 30 in you? Hmm? Oh, no. I ain't got 30 in you me. You got 30 in you. Because no, I ain't got the reason I'm asking you, you got 30 years of jail time in you is because of this. Especially if you activating that pistol. If you rocking around, you running around with that motherfucking pistol. I'm asking you right now. Do you got 30 years in you because. No, I'm, I'm them. I'm answering you. No, I ain't got 30. The well, same thing well, with our well, nephew. The same thing. Our nephew who. Is dead right now. Told us. Remember, you had to talk with our nephew. Yeah. Huh? No, he, little cousin. <laughs> little cousin. He ain't want to listen. He told me he had five in him. I said five. I said you got five. Rest in peace, little cousin, little Dan. I said you got five. Cause, cause for some reason we living in a time where as though everybody that I know that was in the streets, all of them got kids and they sons just think they nuts and they don't, they never was in the streets. They don't know what's going on. So they might know me and because of my popularity, they might hear me out more than they hear their dad out. And I'm like, little bro, your dad was heavy, more heavy in the streets than I was. Your dad was a fucking animal out here. And he's trying to get you the game. You're like, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Do you know how many dudes I know that was activated in the streets? They sons got murdered. And like, listen, man, like I said it before on Instagram, young cats, if you got a father out here, build a relationship with your father. But back to the girl, I had to tell her some shit that was deep. <clears throat> I said, listen, man, your father went to jail when he was a fucking kid. He don't know nothing. You only going to have one father on the planet. And I understand that he hurt you. I just hope that one day that you communicate to him, you know what I mean, how you feel and anything you went through because you never had these conversations with him because a lot of times when you got somebody on the inside, you be trying to protect them. And you don't want them to be stressing while you're on the outside. But a lot of times, it's a big conversation that you had. If you got a father in prison, whatever, you need to have that big conversation instead of instead of trying to protect their feelings. You hurt out here, right? You mm -hmm. need to let them know he let and, you and down. A, and, and a lot of and a lot of y'all y'all be so want y'all dad to come home and do right, but you gotta understand this: a lot of y'all fathers went to the prison as kids. 
they grew up in jail and some people ain't fully developed. Mm-hmm. So when they come out here and they want some shit, you like, damn, my dad, you you 40 something, you come out here, you acting like young, you no, know, they they be trying to live because they not they, they childhood was taken away from them. They never so it's deep and it's sometimes like you. And sometimes you need to go and get counsel. <laughs> That's sometimes like you. So yeah. I, I, was I think counsel. you have to get counsel. No, no, I, was, no. I was this nigga yeah, yeah, yeah. counsel. Grabbing my back here like that. Don't touch me. Don't fill me up like that. I think you're trying to be a seller. That, Don't touch me. That's what a nigga did to you. My dad did 10 years. That's how the old head felt when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. but, but, and it was heartbreaking for oh, me. Yeah, it really you. was. Don't be sizing me up. You want to be a jail nigga bad. You want to be a jail nigga. You want to try you with anything. Fuck I don't. Yeah, but that's what fuck you talking I'm about. Trauma- it, was trauma- it was traumatizing. So you just my, my my dad was like, um, I was I was the only child, but my and my mom was real like quiet. My dad was fun. My father's side was fun, so he picked me up. Everything was fun. He come to the school with candy, chain with my name on it. He doing it in the classroom. He was like that. I rode in the front seat. His friends had to run the back seat, and then he disappeared. And they kept saying he was in the army. And then he would call, and they would be cursing and yelling in the background. I said, "Why are army men talk like that? I was four. Why would they talk like that? Because in my head, an army man is going to be like nice." And then somebody told me he went to jail and he didn't come on for a long time. And he stopped, like, communicating with me, you know, for whatever reason. Because he went through shit. He had a 5 to 10, turned it into 10. So he so, went through shit up there. You so, know what I mean? So if, if, did you ever have him, them, that conversation with your dad? No. So still. What, so, okay. So if you could have it with him right now, what would you have told him? Um, I just would tell him... I don't Come really on, we know. Need some real shit. No, I'm talking Honestly, about. Honestly, we really need some real. I'm shit. talking about the time you had to figure out, figure out boys dating boys, stuff I, happening. I would tell him that. Um, I don't know. I just, I just wish that he was here to protect me through shit that people go through. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you go through in your life, your dad is the one that's like. You know, he going to fuck. I'm gonna fuck them up, or I'm a, you know, I'm gonna set it straight. You know what I mean? When you don't have that, or even. Like somebody else to do that, you feel like alone. So, so what, what would you say to the young <laughs> girls out here that got fathers in prison? Like, what would you say that that, that I, I know it ain't too much? But I would, I would them? say don't be afraid to like reach out. Like, if you do have an uncle or whatever, because sometimes people don't know what you're going through by yourself. So, if you do got a cool uncle Gilly, uncle Wall or whatever, reach out and, and hang around them because sometimes that's all you really want is like an older male that's like positive and show you love or, or shit like that you could get that from a cousin sometimes you know what i mean and from a family member if they knew that you felt like you needed that you know so like don't be scared to like reach out or even if you have older siblings like tell them how you feel because sometimes it's so normal because none of us have dads you know what i mean so everybody but you could say that to your big brother i think he might make time for you you know in a perfect world they would make time for you i don't know if it's like a automatic thing but the people they do have big brother big sister programs and stuff like that get yourself in something like that because those people are volunteering because they want to help a kid just like you so okay that was gonna turn I, into I a bummer her, i would tell her <laughs> i would tell young young men and young women to you know express how you feel you know what i'm saying because you letting it out is 20 times better than you keeping it in. Mm-hmm. You feel me? When you keep it in, that shit get bottled up, and that shit, that shit causes an explosion. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of times to avoid that explosion, to avoid that meltdown, to avoid going through those, those rough points that get uncontrollable, you got to talk about that shit, man. Mm-hmm. And don't be afraid to let a motherfucker know don't be afraid to tell your dad, man, you let me down, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You let me, you got me out here motherfucking alone, man. Because lack of communication is what's killing us. Right. Like, the person won't tell them how they feeling the whole time. You grew up without your dad. Now they home. Y'all still ain't, y'all ain't talking. Your dad trying to live his life because right. he never, he was in jail. And you like, damn, my dad out here on That's some nut exactly shit. That's exactly how that goes. It's like he on some nut shit. But dad, he went to jail when he was a kid. He had you when he was a kid. He never even knew about responsibility because a lot of these dudes that go to jail, when they go to jail, his mom be having you most of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then he had no responsibility in prison. That's a fact. All nigga had to do was keep his cell clean. Yeah, come home immature and don't know, really don't know what to do. What I'm saying? See, one thing I commend Wallow about is that when Wallow went to jail, he wasn't up there playing fucking spades, man. Right. No, I wasn't playing that shit. 
He was up there reading books. He was up there trying to. I used to play checkers with the old head. They used to have a big checkerboard, right? Where you got the. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, like, I remember that's was before the old head tried to get you in the cell. And he ain't trying to get me no that fucking cell. That was my old head, man. I had old head. You was giving him a compliment. Well, yeah, you tried to. Finish. And then he tried to. Yeah, sm- I'm just saying because he tried to throw some, he tried to throw some bullshit in there. Finish giving your cousin a compliment. You know what I mean? And he didn't come home, you know, nobody didn't owe him nothing. He wasn't mad at the world. Right. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He, I ain't, he, you know, everybody come home from jail. I'm, I'm back now. I'm a shit on these niggas, dog. Mm-hmm. Your life not even together. How you, who you gonna shit on? Mm-hmm. And I want to say something. To, listen, tomorrow, everybody, tomorrow, Pennsylvania. If you in Pennsylvania, and you was on parole, and you ran, you left the halfway house, or you stopped reporting to your parole officer, Pennsylvania State Parole, we're talking about Philly, Pittsburgh, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Red, and Allentown, wherever, Chester, wherever you live at, in Pennsylvania. Yes, if you was on parole and you ran, you just left, you stopped reporting, you left a halfway house, and you ain't had no contact with the police, you ain't, you just on a run from state parole, nothing else. You could walk into any parole office starting August 24th to September 4th. August 24th, the Monday, tomorrow. August 24th to September 4th. You could walk into any parole office in Pennsylvania and have your parole reinstated. And you can stand back. Listen, don't worry. We understand some things happen and Corona happened. Mm-hmm. You, it, you know, miss, you know, you, you ain't trying to be under these stipulations. You, you ain't had places to live. You ain't want to go back to jail. You might have been getting hot, escape the reality of the stress you was going through. Don't worry about none of that shit. Right now, shout out to Christian Stevens. He the deputy of field offices, right? The a deputy secretary of field office for the Pennsylvania a board of probation and parole. Listen, man, shout out to him. Uh, me and him had a program in 2008, May 1st to like May 3rd at Enon Baptist Church. It was the Pennsylvania Parole Board, the city of Philadelphia court system, the city of Philadelphia district attorney, public defenders. Everybody came together to collaboration to let dudes come in, safe return program. Hundreds of dudes got reinstated and they walked away. This is your chance to do right. Uh, shout out to Christian Stevens again because he's a guy that I've been talking to ever since we did the first thing, trying to get this program again. Uh, hard work pay off. Uh, we made it happen. Uh, thank you to him for you know just allowing people to get get their stuff back together, man, so they could get on and live their life, man. Shout out to the Pennsylvania Board of Probation and Parole, Christian Stevens, man. I got a question. This. Is it's it dope. it's only parole or it's probation too? It's parole. State okay. state, state parole. parole. Okay. Pennsylvania. Not probation. Listen, listen, this is from August twenty fourth to August fourth, man. Lit. If you want to run, you get reinstated. And if you in Pittsburgh, but you might have lived in Philly, they'll reinstate you in Pittsburgh, wherever you at, they'll reinstate you and right. locate you wherever you at, man. Check that out, man. We out here saving lives, man. Yes. Real Let shit. me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. We appreciate y'all for tapping in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go to barstoolsports.com. Get the merch. Get the merch. Get the The merch. merch. And it's just like that. Right.